is that when they actually mine plaques out of coronary arteries and they will they will scoop out some of that plaque they will detect dozens of infectious pathogens dozens of infectious bacteria including oral bacteria which is why very likely why people with frequent gum infections are significantly more likely to have heart disease it's because part of the development of an atherosclerotic plaque could very well simply be an infection that has moved from the mouth into the blood vessels and and perhaps arteriosclerosis is nothing more than inflammation or an, from an infection now Putting that aside, insulin resistance is fantastically relevant to heart disease. It induces the constriction of blood vessels. It induces sodium retention at the kidneys, so the person has water retention, and that means higher blood pressure. It activates um, the sympathetic nervous system to further induce vasoconstriction or the narrowing of blood vessels and to increase the the pressure of, of the heart or the contractility of the heart so the heart is beating harder and faster so all of this is of course contributing to uh, hypertension which is one of the main drivers of heart disease and then lastly insulin resistance contributes to dyslipidemia and I won't say anything about LDL because I don't think I think LDL gets too much credit in this process but it low it lowers HDL cholesterol directly insulin resistance does and it increases triglycerides um, which in the high triglyceride to HDL ratio is very very predictive of heart disease but Stephen one thing one comment about LDL and it's very relevant um, when we talk about LPS LPS is that little pro-inflammatory bacterial remnant that can move in from a gun a gum inf uh, an oral infection as well as from the intestines when, with if the intestinal wall is leaky LDL is one of the unsung heroes of the immune system where it, it will physically bind to LPS um, and in so doing it will neutralize LPS and then carry it um, to the liver to be excreted into the intestines and then removed from the body through the through the bile duct so LDL um, far from just being a villain it really might be trying to correct the problem by by scavenging the LPS and preventing it from activating inflammatory pathways in the blood vessels. So 